The Earth is a fragile thing, and there are a few select events that could end everything. Here are the top 5 mysterious events that could destroy Earth in the next 50 years. Number 5 on this list is a gamma ray burst. A gamma ray burst is just one of those things guys where if it happens then GG there was really nothing that we could have done. Discover Magazine says, if you could watch the sky with gamma ray vision, you might think you were being stalked by cosmic paparazzi. Once a day or so, you would see a bright flash appear briefly outshine everything else, then vanish. These gamma ray bursts astrophysicists recently learned originate in distant galaxies and are unfathomably powerful as much as 10 quadrillion times as energetic as the sun. The bursts probably result from the merging of two collapsed stars. Before the cataclysmal event, such a double star might be almost completely undetectable, so we would likely have no advance notice if one is lurking nearby. Once the burst begins, however, there would be no missing its fury. At a distance of 1,000 light years farther than most of the stars you can see on a clear night, it would appear as bright as the sun. Earth's atmosphere would initially protect us from most of the burst's deadly x-rays and gamma rays, but at a cost. The potent radiation would cook the atmosphere, creating nitrogen oxides that would destroy the ozone layer. Without the ozone layer, ultraviolet rays from the sun would reach the surface at nearly full force, causing skin cancer and more more seriously, killing off the tiny photosynthetic plankton in the ocean that provide oxygen to the atmosphere and bolster the bottom of the food chain. Gamma ray bursts and what they entail are very complicated. In all honesty, scientists really don't know that much about it. So mapping out when this could happen or if it's even possible to destroy us like we're talking about, it's really hard for scientists to do because they just don't know. Number four on this list is mass insanity. Okay, so this one is very interesting guys and something that I think we all need to become more aware of. Discover Magazine says, while physical health has improved in most parts of the world over the past century, mental health is getting worse. The World Health Organization estimates that 500 million people around the world suffer from a psychological disorder. By 2020, depression will likely be the second leading cause of death and lost productivity right behind cardiovascular disease. Increasing human lifespans may actually intensify the problem because because people have more years to experience the loneliness and infirmity of old age. Americans over 65 already are disproportionately likely to commit suicide. Gregory Stock, a biophysicist at the University of California at Los Angeles, believes medical science will soon allow people to live to be 200 or older. If such an extended lifespan becomes common, it will pose unfathomable social and psychological challenges. Perhaps 200 years of accumulated sensations will overload the human brain, leading to a new kind of insanity or fostering the spread of doomsday cults determined to reclaim life's endpoint. Perhaps the current trends of depression and suicide among the elderly will continue. This is something that we need to tackle in the next 50 years because it's turning into a real problem. Number three on this list is the collapse of the vacuum. No everyone, we are not talking about your brand new Dyson, this is a much bigger vacuum. Discover Magazine says, in the book Cat's Cradle, Kurt Vonnegut popularized the idea of Ice-9, a form of water that is far more stable than the ordinary kind, so it's solid at room temperature. Unleash a bit of it and suddenly all water on Earth transforms to Ice-9 and freezes solid. Ice-9 was a satirical invention, but an abrupt disastrous phase transition is a possibility. Very early in the history of the universe, according to a leading cosmological model, empty space was full of energy. This state of affairs called a false vacuum was highly precarious. A new, more stable kind of vacuum appeared and, like Ice-9, it quickly took over. This transition unleashed a tremendous amount of energy and caused a brief runaway expansion of the cosmos. It's possible that another, even more stable kind of vacuum exists, however. As the universe expands and cools, tiny bubbles of this new kind of vacuum might appear and spread at nearly the speed of light. The laws of physics would change in their wake and a blast of energy would dash everything to bits. Now we're kind of in the same boat as we were with the gamma ray stuff. Scientists don't think we need to worry about this in the next 50 years, but they also truly have no real idea. This is some advanced stuff and we just aren't at that scientific capability to be able to predict events like this. If the current vacuum did collapse, then at least it would end quickly. We'd all be gone in a millisecond pretty
pretty much. Number two on this list is rogue black holes. Rogue black holes are especially scary to scientists because we know that they exist and we have absolutely no idea what to do if one was coming our way. The problems with black holes are that they're black and that makes them really difficult to point out. Researchers guess that there are probably 10 million black holes in our Milky Way galaxy. They have to guess because they really can't be sure as they can't see them. If a star or planet or asteroid, for instance, was coming towards Earth, then we'd be able to pick it up pretty quickly, and even if we couldn't do anything about it, at least we'd know. A black hole could totally sneak up on us without any warning. One day we're chilling, and the next day we're getting sucked into oblivion. Considering there are over 10 million of these space mines floating around the galaxy, this is a pretty scary and real possibility. And number one on this list is nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is one of the fastest growing areas of science and also one of the scariest. Discover Magazine says, before you've even gotten the keyboard dirty, your home computer is obsolete, largely because of incredibly rapid progress in miniaturizing circuits on silicon chips. Engineers are using these same technology to build crude atomic scale machines, inventing a new field as they go called nanotechnology. Within a few decades, maybe even sooner, it should be possible to build microscopic robots that can assemble and replicate themselves. They might perform surgery from inside a patient, build any desired product from simple raw materials, or explore other worlds. All well and good if the technology works as intended. Then again, consider what K. Eric Drexler of the Foresight Institute calls the grey goo problem in his book Engines of Creation, a cult favorite among the nanotech set. After an industrial accident, he writes, bacteria-sized machines could spread like blowing pollen, replicate swiftly, and reduce the biosphere to dust in a matter of days. And Drexler is actually a strong proponent of the technology. Now, this could just be a mishap, but there are also scenarios where humans could use nanotechnology for evil and sinister purposes. A terror organization, for instance, could go nuts with something as strong as this. And think about it. How could we defend ourselves? We're talking about tiny miniature robots. Like they could creep into our skin and boom, we're done. But there you have it guys. That is our list of the top five mysterious events that could destroy Earth in the next 50 years. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other creepy events that could potentially pose a problem that you know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I will catch you next time.